What's up, you two? Slim Tim, Instagram, Mr. Fired Up. Got some vegetables on my aquaponics system. Oh, yeah. Roll the intro. Every day I'm shuffling. Alright, welcome back. This will be my second and third cucumber growth. I already had one come out last week. It was up in that area. I'll explain the uh, yellowing here in a second of the leaves. So, there's my next pick soon. That cucumber up there. That one way up there. You notice there's a couple around it. Like I said, I got, I got some good blooms coming finally. Got one right about here. So. That's the good news. Bad news is, my pH is too high in my water. And that's what's causing this right here on my leaves. I'm hoping it's not uh, a mildew disease. I'm just hoping that the pH is too high and what happens is the pl uh, plant will block the water from coming into its roots therefore making itself lack nutrients <clears throat> so I'm working on getting that established right now I'll be over to the fish tank to show you how I'm doing that and what I'm doing to the sump but so far that's what's going on with the cucumbers I, the first one I picked was a little too ripe still so I'm letting these uh, hang on a little bit longer especially this big old boy The broccoli's doing all right. Everything's starting to look better. Which also I'm uh, using some cleated iron. I'll show you that here in a minute as well. So here's uh, grow bed three and four. Let's go over to one and two. All right, we got the shadow of the cucumbers on grow bed two. As you see, the beefsteak tomatoes are gone. I just went ahead and pulled them up. I felt like it was just, you know, taking up all the nutrients for no reason. Um, the lettuce is doing the same thing, I believe, on what was happening to the cucumbers. It was blocking out the water. So, once again, they're not doing nothing. Over here on the end of the grow bed one, the cucumber, uh, my bad, the tomatoes my coworker let me have are doing our, I don't know what to call it anymore. Could be better. Now the green beans, I got myself a uh, tomato rack laid on its side, or cage, sorry. So they're doing okay, once again, started having this sign of the uh, deficiencies again. I was like, what the hell, I'm over here dosing y'all and y'all are dying. But the green beans are starting to have a couple of uh, sprouts. Let's go on over here and show you what I got going on now on my dosing for this aquaponics system. Alright, here we are looking at the sump. I got the lid open just to let y'all hear it I guess. It's still doing its thing, we'll get a close up in there in a minute. Now then, as stated before, I got the liquid seaweed from Maxi Crop, which now in combination with, I'm using the aqua iron, cleated iron. 10%, which is ideal for the aquaponics. Did a lot of research on making sure I got the right one. And the measuring cup here is for the liquid seed weed. And the metal spoon there is for the iron and for the acid buffer. As I stated at the beginning of the video, I've been noticing issues with the deficiencies in my leaves again and wondering why with the dosing it wasn't working. My pH was up to 8.4 originally when we started the system. And doing further reading, that's good at the beginning of cycling a system, but once you have established, your, your pH needs to be about anywhere between 7.2 to 7.8 at the most. 8 point is pushing it. So I've been slowly getting to come back down, like so I'm at 8.0, got to still test it for today and see if I need a new, to do a, uh, another dosing of the acid buffer. 
Now for the liquid seaweed, uh, once every week, and the iron is twice, uh, once every two weeks. Along with my pH test kit up there and the GH and KH test. Keep an eye on that as well. Uh, I used my master uh, test kit out here, and I got zero ammonia, zero night right, and zero night rate. Which when you get the night rate back up to at least 40, so I'm adding more fish to my system. So let's go ahead and go into the sump. Let's see in there right quick, and we'll be on to the fish tank. All right, so I'm still doing this thing. A lot of the uh, dirt and debris and whatnot has been scooted up against the sides now, which I'm just leaving it in there. No point in taking it out. It's actually just kind of like a filter media as well, more surface area for uh, beneficial bacteria to grow on. I uh, did have a crawfish in here, but I don't know where he got off to. I'm thinking maybe putting more in here or maybe a catfish. I'm not quite sure. Maybe two blue channel catfish. Harvest them one day. Um, everything's flowing good still in here. The radio flow filter. The overflow. I've, uh, I've done some modification to that. That's the reason why the flow has slowed down a little bit. And back, basically got everything dialed in correctly finally. So no more overflow issues. Other than all the little problems I've been having lately coming about this system, it's still, you know, a learning process, learning curves, and just getting, you know, getting ready for next season. I'm going to start earlier in the year, so maybe I can uh, at least have more fuller growth before it gets too hot. Also, I need to invest in getting a water chiller, a heater for this winter to keep my fish alive. Oh, grow bed four is activated, and grow bed one. And grow bed three is about to cut off. So that's what the plans are for this system here soon. So let's go ahead and go over to the fish tank and check them out. All right, over at the fish tank, I've changed my feeding method now because I was going through a can of this a week. And you can do the math on that. That's pretty expensive for about eight bucks a week. So now I'm using Koi Select for my uh, feeding of these Comet Goldfish now. They don't eat as much, but it fills their belly up a little bit faster. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves just a nice little pinch going on here. And go ahead and let y'all see some of the new additions being brought in. As you see there, I got some more bigger uh, comments from my local LFS. Oh, that was the one of the bins behind me popping for my sight on it. As you see, there's one of the newer ones. Big guys. That's the original one I showed you in month two. He's doing real good. Gotten bigger. I'm about to mix up my color, and I'm thinking about getting eight of those. The... I can't pronounce I'm going to butcher it. But it's a different species of the uh, comet. You know, mix up the color a little bit in here. And as you saw, they are just tearing those pellets up. Um, water's a little green. Due to the cleated iron I'm adding now. Which is expected. It's got actually a little lighter of a green tint right now than what it normally is. Once I dose it this, uh, later on this week, it'll be a little bit darker. So, we'll see if they'll eat some more for y'all. Oh, there he goes. Yep. Still averaging about 30 of them. Alright people, once again, I greatly appreciate everybody supporting me in this new series on my, my channel. I'm sorry for lacking in the aquarium videos lately, just been working a lot late at work. Just trying to keep, you know, true with the series and monthly updates to y'all. Um, I got the shout outs from the last month video, still do. So no shout outs for this video. And just keep on leaving your likes, your comments on anything of what you want to know more about or tell me how well you think I'm doing. And also, welcome you new subscribers. I appreciate it. We're almost 30 away from 1,200. Remember what I told you? Possibly a contest coming. So, stay fired up to that next video. And I'll see you later.